Hi everyone, today we're making Thai red curry and we made this for some friends of ours recently and they asked us if we would share the recipe with them and the whole story behind this started about maybe 15 years ago we were at a Thai restaurant in Wyndham, Maine called Thai Place and we struck up a conversation with the owner, Manny and we talked about how yummy his food was and we talked about how we enjoyed making Thai food so he asked us how we made our Thai food and as we explained to him, and he said, oh, it's all wrong. Grab a pencil and paper. So we did. And this piece of scrap of paper has been with us for over 15 years. And he told us exactly how he makes it. So with Manny's help, we have now learned how to make Thai red curry or green curry. Depends on your preference. And it really is very simple. One of the keys, though, is high quality ingredients. So for the two of us, for a typical evening's meal, which affords a little bit of leftover for lunch the next day, what we usually use is a pound of shrimp, butterflied, about a pound of green beans, a large pepper, red or yellow or green if you, if you prefer, or if you like more, it, there's no exact measurements when it comes to the veggies, whatever you like. And we slice those up. Uh, typically, if you can get Thai basil, that would be preferable, but we don't have that. So we just get a lot of just basil, either off your own plant or from the store. We like a lot of basil. And let's see, we use a half a can of one of these four ounce pastes. You can see the brand we use is, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Masrai, Masrai. We use either the green or the red. Those are our favorites. Green may be a little bit hotter, but for this particular proportion, we use one half a can, one half a four ounce can, and that seems to be plenty for us. We use organic virgin coconut oil, the best coconut milk that you can find. Uh, we prefer no guar gum. So we use either this native forest you can see or Arroyo D. And if you can't get those at your grocery store, I'm, I'll put some links down below. For the fish sauce, we use Red Boat, which is a high quality fish sauce, but they were out of Red Boat at the store. So we just got this Blue Dragon and coconut palm sugar. And the proportions are really gonna be largely up to your taste. We put about three tablespoons of the oil into the pan let that melt. Then we sizzle the half a four ounce can of paste. Tonight we're going to use red. And we let that start to sizzle. Then we add the coconut milk. Mix that in well. Let that come to a simmer. Then we add two to three tablespoons of the coconut sugar, three, three and a half tablespoons of fish sauce. And then we start adding the rest of the ingredients. We steam the green beans if they're fresh just to soften them up a little because the veggies are not going to cook very long and chop up the basil it all goes in mix it up heat it up till cooked and serve over rice if you prefer or just as a soup all right we're just going to get started on this all right so we're looking at our basil and it's not that big so we may just like lightly chop it or just shred it it's really up to you you don't have to the shrimp is butterflied and we're just going to go ahead and and get the rest of the veggies ready while the green beans steam. And we've got about two tablespoons in of the coconut oil in the wok. All right, while we're waiting for the green beans to finish steaming, John has gone ahead and prepped the basil. You can see it's not really chopped much, just a little shredded. And we've got the peppers. You can see how he preps those. And there's two, I would say two heaping tablespoons of the coconut sugar. And we'll go three to three and a half heaping tablespoons of the fish sauce and an entire can of the coconut milk. All right, as I mentioned, we're going to do just half a can of the red paste today. And it's sizzling and you really want to work fast. I'm not working that fast. <laughs> so once you get started, and then in goes the coconut milk and get that all well incorporated. All right, we're just going to go ahead and bring that to a boil. Oh, it smells good already. And then we'll add more ingredients. 
Okay, now it's boiling, so next step is the fish sauce. Just going to go with three tablespoons of that. Or four. Fish sauce is real important to the flavor here. And then the sugar, it's two heapers, like I said, two heaping tablespoons. And let's go ahead and we'll just blend that. Now we're just going to add the basil and the shrimp. Bring that to a boil. We found one of these deep handled woks works really well for this meal. All right, so the shrimp is about boiling, and as soon as that looks like it's about to get cooked through, we'll go ahead and add the beans and the pepper. And just cook that for a few minutes to let the pepper soften up a little and then serve it. Just put a lid on it just to kind of let it steam for a little bit. And it's ready. Just serve in bowls either over rice or, or as a soup, whatever your preference is and enjoy. Let us know if you tried this. Have a great day and thanks for watching.